<clears throat> Are you ready? Are you ready? For the final in the trilogy, two. They piss off my neighbors by screaming at midnight. Like they don't run around screaming and having fights and letting the dogs run around at like two in the morning. We literally st go straight from where we finished, look. He just wakes up Engine. Engine's just sat around minding his own business. <laughs> has a bunch of cronies that work for him and not any of them could go back onto the earth to pick them up for him like tiny fucking tiger. I'm sorry like I just didn't get this. Oh this is just this isn't even a real level they just show you the um, how the game works. They introduce the slide jump here. This is a real bandicoot. No, this is an armadillo. I'm dumb. They have bandicoots in one of these. Yes, you can die in this tutorial. And you just get stolen away. Why he would do this, though, is beyond me. Like, why he would even bother doing what Cortex tells him to do, because... So you got Turtle Woods, Snow Go. This time they've got them engraved in the side, so you can see what you need. See, there's a lot of colored crystals and stuff straight away. You can do them in any order you want, like any other warp room, but we're just gonna... Oh, they'd literally tell you this time, before they wouldn't tell you, and it's basically, um, don't touch a single box and you'll get the blue gem. But we're gonna get all the boxes first time. Oh, that one's harder though, getting all the boxes. Water. Not water. There's some pretty good tunes on this, oh. Some pretty good tunes on this uh, game as well, I'm not gonna lie. A lot of people, this is their favorite game in the Crash uh, franchise, the first few games. But, like, personally for me, you know we're gonna go back. Seeing if you understand the basic concept of like his moves just to get to this place. 
We need to to get all the boxes. See, the turtles are now modified. They actually feel like they've been experimented upon. That guy's got a helmet for some reason. Apparently I can't jump properly. I'm pretty sure this is the game where they decide not that you have to do the whole game without dying, the whole level. But we'll see. We're gonna make our lives harder. We died. You can do it by slide jumping, or you could have made a good game. There we go. Because you gotta be able to. A smashed box. This is where it gets really hard. Because ostriches. Okay, we got all of the boxes. The upper boxes, I mean. Those ostriches were always a pain in the ass. Introduction to nitros to just his nitros. So we've done that. Now not to die until the next checkpoint, I was have to do it all again. I like a bonus. Used to be it just opened, like you just fell through it, <laughs> and you were like, oh, what? I used to prefer it where it was literally like it was a hollow floor, so you just went and it just went straight through, but now they've got a little thing for it. Yay! And now it's done. Wow. Oh. some turtles that you have to slide because they have buzz saws on their backs. We'll see that later. Ah. These creepy turtles used to make really creepy noises when they came out of that hole. It's like, let me just be like, uh. Oh. We have to wait for them to wake up again. So you see he's like a cyborg, he's like the Kano of the turtles. Ow. Oh. Ow. Oh. Good job, I got it. They fucked up the LP. No, it's not 100% LP, I'm just gonna go out and say it. But, you know, just for the first. Um. Okay. Yeah, there we go. You want to change the camera a little bit? It's a little bit of a weird bug there. QA people watching this video for some reason, what would you call that bug? Is that a class C? So I could fix it? And it's just camera related? I don't know. So there we go. Again, relics originally didn't exist in this game. Only gems. They added relics in Crash 3 and now they've retrofitted them to everything and I don't know how I feel about that because it just feels like I don't really care. And there are some gems in Crash 2 which literally you get
literally had no choice of the video game. statically yeah I don't like that they've put because some of the gems in the original game in original Crash 2 were like time trial gems so it starts to get weird that they're adding it so this time we're just gonna get the blue gem straight away and like spinning the enemies into boxes does count so just don't try and avoid as much and pick these up better off not interacting with enemies in case you spin them into a box further down. Break the box. Then you can jump on them of course. Because uh, they're not going to go anywhere but down. Yeah, like It's the first level you can just walk around everything. Just ignore the bonus. Just go around everything. Don't even take a hit from the, the mask. As they ping him backwards, then and you're gonna hit something. Just go over. Oh! Somehow. I've never hit that box. Try again. Oh. That was much easier to follow in the original because he used to just speak to you normally. They really added, like I've said before, they really invaders zoomed him up. Where they're just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And like it used to be Cortex used to have a lot of maniacal laughter. And um, Imbria was just like, no, Crash, you have to help me. Like, you know, help me stop Cortex. Like, if you gather the crystals, I can stop him. He's trying to trick you, much like Coco. He wasn't like as stable as Coco, and he still he felt like, can I trust him because he's also evil? But like it turns out, like in they literally used to say in the game manual, Embryo was just thrown out after losing to Crash in Crash One, and they just went, oh okay, fine, fuck you, and he was replaced by Engine categorically. And it basically meant. Oh, come on, let's just. What the fuck? I'm so mad. Do I have to slide jump? But then the slide can break a box too if you hit the box. Well, it never used to be a problem. I used to be able to just jump over it without even thinking. We're gonna do this. We can do this basic task. Don't have the dash or anything. Yeah, um, what was I saying? Now they really like it was much harder to follow that talk with Embryo because they had to add loads of yeah, yeah, yeah for comical value, and it's just like yeah, yeah, we get it. He's crazy, but it's not really that exciting, you know. So yeah, mad scientist equal mad. You've gotta have endless gratuitous <laughs> weird facial distortion shit and it's just like it's just yeah we get it 
That is literally just an armadillo. Everything else is cybernetic. What am I doing wrong here? There we go. I thought I was going to hit my head on the roof. Fuck up again. They go fast, those, but they used to make this horrible <laughs> noise and generally be dicks. Don't be tempted to slide for speed. There you go. Some of them you can slide jump over them. But I feel like on this version of the game, the camera would fuck up because it was like, ah, uh, we weren't expecting you to do this. Only real place that this kind of hole exists is these levels. This kind of. And look, we have this now. Easiest gym to get in any of the games, basically, is just go through the level without doing anything. But I managed to fuck it up three times, so. I'm not even gonna ask. No, we don't. Didn't see that before because they kept stopping us to. So there's a snow level, a cool water waterboarding level, a cool, cool surfboard level, another one that's basically just another wood level and a boulder level. So we're gonna just do these today, and I'm gonna go to sleep. Just to show off the first room. In case you didn't see them in level one, here's the nitro, this is what they do. Oh, okay, apparently I can't spin. Because I'm dumb. Ice equals difficult handling. Annoying, finicky jumping. That's one one per fruit. Gotta detonate that TNT for the box. Oh, maybe not. Or try, I can't remember if you can get all of them. Now remind me from my old LP, but like, it seems to me that you can, you don't get a chance to pick up the crystal anymore. It used to be the crystals or something in the level, which you had to pick up, and now you can't. Like, you can't, you know, basically the crystal is complete the level. But before it was the crystal was in the level and you had to these are fun. Someone had time to go into the Arctic to add that. Oh, well. Apparently sliding. They're faster than before. That's just the seal. They used to be, yeah, you see the red gem up there? The timing on some of this stuff has changed. Jump down this hole. Notice a lot of the secret levels now are not like, they're not token based. And place to put a life token. Um, yeah, they're not token based and they're now integrated with the levels. Like you fall down a hole and it takes you to another area or like sometimes there are these platforms and then in the third one they were like that's too hard just always make them like platform based. Maybe because it just took up too much space or something or like falling down a hole and transitioning was just a bit pain in the ass to code or something. I don't know. Hidden camera shenanigans. 
That's just a penguin. Oh, there we go. No, you do have to pick him up. I'm just on autopilot. You can walk by them and have to do the level again. It's very hard to walk by them. They're very in an obvious place, but like... This ice ball gel. It's so weird. I wonder what I did. Oh, look, I did that. Oh, what a surprise. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Again, this game had a significant difficulty decrease from the original. Oh, look, we did it. For some reason I thought the gem part for fuck us over there. I can't remember how you get the red gem. I'd have to up later. My cat's being an asshole and destroying my watch. Mean. Then no I've broken it. You gonna pay for a new one? I forget how to go. I think you've got to go from above, like in the second walk room, because this central area, it goes up and there's a boss. And then there's another walk room, so I feel like you have to fall through, which kind of makes your brain go, wait, what? These things exist in a teleport place, but if you fall down, it's really weird. It's like, wait, that's not how space or time or teleportation works. I like these, but there's a lot of time shit, which I do not like. The fish are now mechanical, but they're still annoying. Because they're like... Still got these as well, but they're purple now. Now we have... A sick motorized surfboard. L to accelerate. It used to be circle to boost. Okay, that's new. Who's putting mines in a river? I have no idea. How are they growing out of the tiles? Beats me. I tried surfing once. You see there's a timer in the corner saying 2021. Yeah, if you beat the game, you get to the end of the level, or a certain point in the level. A certain point of the level, before the timer counts down, you get the other gem. That's what I mean by weird time trials being integrated but being gems in this game, making it really weird that they then go and put time trials in as well. But they're different. If you're getting like nostalgia or like deja vu, yes, this is very much like the bonus rounds, these mushroom bonuses, very much like a callback to the original game. Oh yeah, because we've already got the blue gem. Uh, let's try the death route. Gem death route. That's something the music goes nuts. Just freaks you out a little bit. Those hippos are bigger and uglier than before. And now you have to do this shit. So they introduce you to the idea of jumping on boxes in the water. And I drowned. See, there's a checkpoint right there as well. Hashes it out to say, yeah, you've done it. Should we just do the game? 
rather than the half route, which is like got another gem at the end of it, but we need this anyway. It starts doing this shit to you. Little ramp, the ramp here. Get good at using these ramps. If you don't, poops to you. Basically, do the death route or don't get the gem. And the other gem is literally get to a certain point in the game. In the level. So that's a pretty hard one quite early on. It's just level three and it just gets hit. Why are you talking to me now? Then? Pits or let's do the pits. And then we'll do Crash Dash and maybe the boss if we have time. I mean, yeah, the lock boxes are introduced in this as well. Oh, he's fast. Fast Turtwig. Suddenly they're just in the <laughs> main area. Oh, good news everyone, I can't duck a bird. Hey guys, did you miss split pathing? Because it's back. You're going back. Did you survive the split popping last game? Oh god. Well, the good news, it's over now, but I've got bad news. You're going back. Bye. <laughs> so you have to take one route first, because it has that in it. Little chicken turkey dodo. Because it triggers boxes in the second path. So you have to do left then right. Hey. These mostly peaceful animals, the turtles. They need glowing claws and buzz saws. Shut up, that's why. Let's see them be extinct now. I like that animation. That's that feels new. Ooh. How do we break the box? Like this. We do not break those boxes like this. Oh yay. What the Don't break all of them. Don't jump through them. Uh, I had the tail end of my beer and it. You know when a beer is just slightly too big and the tail end of the beer, just the drag of it makes you feel a little light, like, eh, a little sick. Yeah, I got that right now. I just, 
I'm not a big alcohol drinker, but the few times that I have days off and stuff to do this stuff where I drink, I feel like, oh, I'm gonna have a beer, you know, it's just gonna be nice, I just have a beer, like, what's the problem, it's fine. I'm just a bit like, oh man, I hate drinking. I'm glad people are giving me loads of work to do. So honestly, I'm just like, oh, well, what else am I gonna do? Great. Fuck up a video game while drunk, apparently so. I will do this. Kind of bullshit that the the life box turned into a question mark box when you don't lose lives in this, but you also lose what you collect in the bonus level. It's like, oh, you didn't ace the bonus level first try. Well, now it's not a life box. Fuck you. Oh, I don't even know why I jumped like that. Let's just get through this. Can I even... Oh, I'm, I'm doing this for a split path level as well, so it's like, I'm not gonna, you know... Let's just forget it. A bit tired now. Look at this one box there, it's just pissing me off. Why the moles want to kill you is beyond me. You just seem like moles living in a hole. Maybe it's because I'm in that hole. Why is that hole square? Why do they have a magic mushroom if I kill them all? So it's four already. So I see. Looks like you can't get a gem for this one on the engraving on the wall. It reminds you how to slide. Now he animates that so he's looking back like, shit, there's a boulder just to distract you further. Oh, great. That slows you down. Don't stand on the mines. They don't kill you, they slow you down and then you get killed by a rock instead. Oh, fuck. They just add a lot of shit in Crash Tooth to the boulder levels, which is why people hate the boulder levels. Like this, which is just like instant death rather than slowing you down you might have a chance to avoid it thing if you just make a few mistakes it's fine and they just go no here's electric this is what people don't like about these boulder levels the sudden looming appearance of instant death feels like bullshit and you know you don't have enough time to react to But still, nice environment. For some reason all the boulder levels are snow covered in this. I think it's so that you... Well, we'll get to that. <laughs> well... 
They do a lot of good work with the scenery in this game as well. That makes it different, but doesn't make it feel like they just revamped it really, like, you know. Remember, these games came out to a year between each other. I slipped. I slipped. That's dumb. That's really dumb. Oh, I gotta do it again. I need all the boxes. You can get all the boxes on this one without it being too annoying or split puffy or secret bonus areas, you know, or like uh, anything like that. Choking. Choking. There's a lot of snow covered levels, I have to admit. It's like that thing for this game was look, snow. We we can do snow now. Before we weren't we couldn't do snow because they were all islands in a Pacific area kind of. Let's try. <laughs> oh yeah, they show you this. Hey, did you already think that you had enough bullshit going on with the boulder levels to make the average person pissed off? Here's just shove you forwards beyond the screen. So sometimes they're just traps. Sometimes they really help you, and you need to do them because you hit a mine, and you need that speed. You need to hit them. You need to not get electrocuted. You need to hit them because sometimes the boulder doesn't hit them. Certain ones it doesn't hit because they're in the corner. You can see there's gaps around the boulder. Speedies right now because I'm doing a really bad job of evading the boulder. Did I get him? You did it. I hope you're all proud of me. Oh, it's half me. What am I doing with my life? Oh, the, the gem's just above, hidden by a vine for some reason. Okay. Oh. That used to be the save wall. There used to be a wall there where you could save the game, and you used to have to go up, and then the, the um, boss was up. Before you got to the next warp room, he intercepted you. And to re-access the boss fight, if you wanted to replay it, you had to hold down a button and press up to get up into the boss. But now they do this instead, which is an interesting rebuild. Now he's a doctor, and he can do this, which they, which makes a returning crash bash for some reason. Oh, 
Yeah, his hat falls off and his hat's like a mask for some reason. For some reason he has Einstein hair and a top hat. And it's all a bit random if you ask me. I don't really get what they're doing with Ripper Roo. This this version of Ripper Roo is not very memorable for a reason. It's just very weird and it's like, well why did you just give him a load of like accoutrements? He just has a load of extra stuff now. And books. He has books now. You know, crazy people read and study. That's that's what we've learned from Ripperu here. I just don't understand what their brain, where the process went. You know. I don't really get where they went from. He's crazy and in a straight jacket too. He's now studying for a PhD. And has brought in all this stuff like that's that's the uh, that's the path. Oh yeah. one's a bit, it's because I don't know the pattern yet. Dr. Wu. I like Ripper Roo as a character, it's just like, it's just such a strange character that's like, why is he, why is he? Why is anything in this game, but like, it's like a weird character that they just completely got rid of after having him for two games and really like, yeah. He's not like Koala Kong where it's like we got rid of him after one game or Torna where they got after got rid of the her after one game. It's like we're gonna stick with this. Cause it's really important we stick with this. Yeah, it's really important we stick with Professor Ruth Ripperu and then they just drop him after that and he's never seen ever again in any other game. Is that it? Like, we don't get anything? R1 is up. Didn't you get anything from Cortex saying, hey, yo. Okay, he said once I gathered five crystals, he talked to me, but he didn't. I feel like I'm missing something. Where does the beginning? You, you see that? You're gonna start, start doing some animal ones. Oh, I just wasn't. Okay, we'll watch this and then I'll finish. Was I saying? Oh yeah. Oh, apparently we can just get Coco now. 
kind of again a continuity issue if she's talking to us but we can just swap to her at any point um oh i guess it's time machine uh so what was i saying another really confusing sticking point for me was where Cortex is aware that those guys are trying to kill you. You're his only hope to collect the crystals. And so he puts his cronies to fuck your day up. And he's like, oh, ha ha, I see Ripperoo tried to fuck you over. Haha, <laughs> what a surprise, he didn't work. And it's like, always left a bit like, isn't he your creation? Why is he still here in the way? Why is Tiny Tiger and Engine fighting me? Aren't I doing you a favor? What, you're gonna get the last four on your own? It just seems a bit like, you know, when they do this shit, it's just like, you're, you're blocking the progression of your own plan. Because at the moment, I'm literally collecting the crystals for you. You know, it just seems a bit like, what, what the hell? I know they've got to have it because boss, but it would be a bit more like believable if they sat down and went, Oh yeah, Ripperoo is working on his own. He's a oh yeah, like the you know he's got his own gender, crazy man, you know, or something like that. It just feels a bit yeah, like why? I know it's a kid's game, but like <laughs> Do my my swagger walk. So this one's got a sewer level. It's got a boulder level. It's got a level where you ride a bear. It's got another, this is another, uh, it's called Air Crash, but it's called another, it's another surf level. Surf level? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. And another snow level. They reuse certain level ideas multiple, a lot more times than they did in Crash 1 or 3 for 2. Like several, not just one or two times. Some of these level tile sets will come back again and again and again. Mostly just air crash. And some of the chase levels will come back several times. I don't remember how many of the sewer levels there are. There's at least two. Not that you felt like it was like... Still, considering the game and the, the year they had to produce these games. You can see why they transitioned to warp rooms instead of big islands that are like detailed and shit to move along and like a map. You can also see how they started to go, okay, we're gonna just reuse several tile sets repeatedly, but it's still not to an egregious level where it's only two or three levels are doing the same thing again, you know, like, same with Crash 3, where it's like there's like four motorbike levels, but like everything else is like two really. Oh, then there's the, the, the Egypt levels, there's several of those as well. So you can see where they were starting to kind of go, okay, we're, at, we're running out of ideas and we need to fill some space. Warp rooms are easier, but you still got to model all this shit, right? But it's better than modeling a whole island that's not even interacted with. Anyway, <clears throat> let's stop for there. And uh, I'll do the rest of Crash 2 at some point. The first four warp rooms are fine. It's really just the last two where I start to get a bit like, oh, here's a difficulty spike. And then the final, the final, um, the final warp room is just, I hate the final warp room of Crash 2. That's why I really just don't like this game. It's basically the jetpack levels. And some of the other levels in it are just like a bit ass to face for no real reason. And you're a bit like, oh, that kind of ruins it for me because there's some really good levels otherwise. But anyway, I'm going to shut up now. I've talked for like five minutes about shit that I could talk about later. And you can hear my throat's going, so shut up. Bye bye.